Crossing. Here we go. Ladies and gents, thanks so much for coming. It's Abdali here bringing you guys some even more Animal Crossing New Leaf content. Today we are going to troll Mr. Asseti and we're going to make him lose his job. Because as we know, in Animal Crossing New Horizons, he may or may not be there. I don't know. So today we got a pretty fun episode. Uh, we are going to be playing through Animal Crossing. Uh, I'm going to blow up my save file. And we're going to start a brand new town. We're going to meet Mr. Assetti fresh, and it's going to be pretty fun. So thanks so much for coming. Uh, you guys are amazing. All of your Animal Crossing support throughout the entire week, if not the entire, I don't know, whenever we played Animal Crossing way back in the day, seven years ago. You guys are great, so thanks for hanging out. If you guys didn't already see, let's take a look over here. Dun, dun, dun. Here's the main channel page. You guys can come on board. Uh, if you guys didn't see my join button over here on the main channel page, you guys can absolutely become a member. We've got lots of plans for members in Animal Crossing uh, New Horizons when that comes out tomorrow at the time of recording. And of course, right over, what the heck is that upcoming live stream? Animal Crossing New Horizons gameplay walkthrough Nintendo Switch, my new island, part one? What the heck? That's already here? Holy moly. All right, come over to the main channel page and you guys can, uh, you guys can say hi to me right over here. I'm just going to wave. Uh, at everyone in the comments there. But anyway, we're gonna be playing this game. Make sure you guys join us. Uh, if you guys are watching this live right now, we're gonna do it tomorrow morning. So that's gonna be in central time. You guys can click on, it on my main channel page. There's a little countdown that says live in 15 hours. So 15 hours from now, I wanna see you guys. We're gonna be playing it on Nintendo Switch. It's gonna be a great time. All right, um, yeah, make sure you guys are all subscribed, turn on notifications, and uh, let's play some Animal Crossing, shall we? Let's -a go. Okay, welcome Amiibo. More like goodbye Amiibo. A new feature has been added to your game, the Amiibo camera. Oh, okay, no thanks. Okay, no thanks. All right, here we go. Uh, we're gonna go new save file. And uh, we're gonna have a good time with it, so let's do it. It's Rover. Hey, can I talk to you for a second? Yeah, sure, dude. Do I see a ticket to A Nation in your hand there? No, you don't. Uh, I have an acquaintance that lives in that town. Mind if I sit down? Um, Is this how you start a new town? I thought I was going to blow up the save file. How do I erase the save file? Great, thanks. Uh, by the way, what's your name? Um, I guess this is the way we're going to do it, apparently. Let's, let's take a look. Um, anyway... You you mean you're, ugh, dude? Okay, hold on. We're gonna get out of here, man. You're gonna make me name myself something else? Come on, man. Oh yeah, yeah. Remember. <laughs> I don't want to like move in as a new character. I want to blow up this town and start over. Mm, yeah, yeah. That's pretty cool. All right, do I? No, I've never been here. I'm not looking for the A nation. I'm looking for the B nation right now. Uh, I can't say. <laughs> You're not gonna tell, no. Sorry, Rover. I got an idea, are you moving into a new town? Yeah, yeah, moving to a new town, you guessed it. Yeah, there we go. What, really? I got it right on the first try. Well, now moving into a new place. I hope this is how this works. I've never had to erase a town before. No, no, this is not who I wanted. <laughs> All right, wow. Oh, man. Yeah, so I need to actually not do this part of the game. So let's go erase a town. And then we're going to start from scratch, so I'm about to, like, just quit out of this. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I'm out. See ya! So that's not exactly how you do it. We're going to close that. You're going to listen to the best music. And then we're going to start all over again. So I guess apparently we're talking to Isabel. Anyway, thanks for coming. How many guys, hands up in the comments, if you guys are excited for Animal Crossing New Horizons? I think I'm the only one. I don't know, is that right? You guys uh, excited for Animal Crossing New Horizons? Or am I the only one? I, I think I may be the only one. It's okay. It's not that popular of a game. It's not that popular. I mean, there's a lot of people that are just raising their hands right now. All right, here we go. 
Good evening, Mayor. A Nation Thursday. Uh, yes, yeah, sounds about right. Get started. No, I need help first. Here we go. Okay, assisting with the demol recreate the town. The town will be wait what? You can't be serious. I mean, rebuild the town. That means A Nation will be totally gone. Is that really what you want? All the bells you've earned, all the furniture, it'll all be lost. And those who live in this town, all gone. Doggy R B L X, welcome, brand new member. I just saw that. What's up? Are you sure about this? this? Is absolutely positively what you want? Yeah, this is what I want. Okay, just so you don't do anything you regret later, I'm going to confirm this one last time. Are you absolutely positive? Are you sure you want to delete your town? It can't be undone. Uh, delete it. Goodbye. I gave away all my money. No, I'm kidding. I'll go ahead and begin the process of deleting your town. Wow, I hope you come back and see us again someday. The town is being erased. Don't touch the power button. What happens if you did? It's done. I hope we meet again someday, somewhere. On a new island. Hey! Zing! <laughs> da -na 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 -na. Da -na 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 -na. Oh, look at my very first villager. It's a duck. Alright, welcome amiibo. New save file. Here we go. That's kind of what I wanted. I don't want Rover to know me. What's up, Robes? Oh, excuse me. Uh, I have a quick question for you. Uh, no, that's actually not the time. I'll tell you the time. Uh, 319 is uh, not correct. It is actually the 18th. And we're gonna go at 440. Okay, 440, yeah, yeah, there we go. Sounds about right. Perfect. Thanks. I forgot to set your watch this morning. Just gonna plop down uh, on the seat across from me if you don't mind, of course. Hey, Jenna, hey, what's going on? Thanks for the super chat, welcome. By the way, you hold it. Can I ask your name? Uh, yeah, sure. What is my name? It's Abdallah spelled without the 11 in the middle. It's Abdallah without the 11? <laughs> well, that's a fantastically great name. Yeah, it is cool, right? Yeah, you seem like a pretty cool guy to me. No, you do, man. Rover, you're awesome. I have your amiibo. So, Abdallah, tell me, where are you headed today? I'm going to the A Nation. You guys know about the B Nation? No, this is the A Nation. <laughs> the town of A Nation, yeah. Huh, A Nation, yeah, okay. Don't think I've heard of it. I wonder where it is. Oh, right, map, map, map. Take a look along this train line. Uh, maybe it's uh, this right here? Uh, yeah, this looks fine. It's cool. It shows, like, a basic town. So you get to go to A Nation very often. Uh, yeah, I've never been there, but I've heard such great things. It's the coolest Animal Crossing town ever. It's your first time, sounds like a lot of fun. Then can I ask why you're headed there? I'm moving, I am moving, that's right. Oh man, sounds pretty good to you. But you said it's your first time there, does that mean you haven't seen your house yet? I'll, um, I'll get a place there. Yeah, I see, so you're going house hunting once you get there. Uh, I guess it'll be a lot more fun that way. I hope you find uh, an awesome little house and have tons of fun in your happy new town. Okay, great. Okay. Oh, hey, looks like we're about to arrive in a Nation. Thanks for chatting with me. It's been a long time since I've enjoyed a train ride this much. Come to think of it, I've been riding the rails an awful lot again lately. Haven't done this much traveling since 2002 or so. Man, that's weird. 2002 or so? Oh, was that a throwback to the GameCube version? 2002? Anyway, bye bye Yeah, I think so. That's a little, little Easter egg there. <laughs> okay, so this is what it looks like when you start a brand new town. I don't remember it. You guys can probably see that in episode one of Animal Crossing seven years ago. Oh, wow, look at that tree. Look at that tree flag. Default flag. It's like the default dance in Fortnite, but a tree. And this little guy looks pretty great. I like this Animal Crossing villager. I don't like his hair, but he's got the generic features that I look for in a villager's face. Yo, is that Bob? 
Yo, did we just get Bob? And we got someone named Rocco? Yo, you see that guy? Uh, it's definitely a person we've been waiting for. Oh, that's straight Bob, dude. Bob's the best villager. Are you kidding me? We should probably say hi. Okay, everyone, here we go. Ready and... From those of us in A-Nation, welcome. Mayor, we're so happy you're finally here. Oh, man. I got someone named Rocco, which is actually the name of my cat. And then I got Bob, which is one of my favorite Animal Crossing animals since the very first Animal Crossing. That's real cool. What luck. All right, who's this person that we're talking to? Why, why is her name question marks over here? I don't think I recognize this character in Animal Crossing New Leaf. Is this a new character that I should know? Oh, this is that character from Smash Bros, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, I remember now. This character from Smash Bros with, like, the fishing rod and everything? Oh, yeah, that character is real cool. I'm sorry, what am I supposed to be doing? Check the map for directions to the town hall. Okay, so I'm going to the town hall. I actually just want to save the game and quit. Dude, it's Bob! Okay, I just need... You can stop following me now. <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding. You know I'm kidding, right? I, that's Isabel, of course. We all know Isabel. <laughs> All right, here we go. Hey, okay, Mayor, this town hall will be your base of operations, and I completely mentioned that I'm on staff here, too. I'm Isabel, your secretary, and here to help you in any way I can. But if I may be frank, surprised to see someone as young as you step off the train. I mean, our former mayor held the position for many, many years, and he was quite set in his ways. But youth is a breath of fresh air and exactly a new image in our town that our town needs. You're perfect for the job. All right. Of course, we need you to get started right away in your work as mayor. Therefore, we must complete your resident registration. A mayor really should be a resident. So what's your name, mayor? All right, Abdallah, duh. Okay, I have your name. And next. Oh, no, this is bad. I can't believe I've completely forgot something so vitally important. In order to register as a town resident, you need your address on the form. Do you have a place to live yet? There aren't any vacant houses here. But you can build one. We really should have you decided where you're going to live before you proceed. And I made you come all the way here for nothing. I apologize for being so flaky. On the other side of the tracks on Main Street, Nook's Homes. Like, I don't know how much more I have to do this, but I think I have to get a home before I can start talking to Mr. Rossetti. So we're going over there. Trip to Main Street. Come follow me, Isabel. We need a fresh Mr. Rossetti. That's the thing, right? We need to just not know who he is. We need to go in as a small boy with red shoes and a bowl haircut. Almost a bowl cut. <laughs> Uh, you have a bowl haircut. See ya. You have a bowl haircut. There's nothing wrong with a bowl haircut. You know you had a bowl haircut growing up. <laughs> Alrighty. Come here. Oh, hello. Welcome, welcome. You must be the new mayor, am I right? Isabel in the town told me to expect you. On behalf of the A Nation, Chamber of Commerce, I'm uh, pleased to welcome you. So, Abdallah, you're here today because you want to build a house, yeah? Very good, very good. I can build in anywhere you want. So, have you decided on where you want to live? Yeah, I have. Right next to Isabel. Then this won't take long at all. Just take me where you want to build your new home. Oh, that's kind of cool. I didn't rem remember this. That, like, you just pick and choose where you want to live. So, this is kind of like the precursor to Animal Crossing New Horizons, right? Uh, please wait. Ah, uh, he's so slow. But this is him actually moving around. His belly is so big. I want to live right here, guy. Yes, I would. Look at Tom Nook's belly. I didn't realize that it's just... It's so... So round. And not that there's anything wrong with that. But I, I didn't really realize that. And he's got tiny little legs. You, you rarely see that, right? Or maybe you do. I don't know. Yeah, okay. Just build my stuff. Okay, it'll look something like this. <laughs> Very nice house. Yeah, yeah, that that's perfect. Sure, go ahead. You know, his that's actually not his stomach. What if I told you? His stomach's not big. It's just the amount of bells that are in his pockets. His front pockets that makes him look big. He's just got money in his pockets, that's all. Uh-huh, uh-huh. 
Uh-huh, uh-huh. Put up a mailbox. Great. Not too shabby looking. Interesting. Okay, so returning to shop. That's where we part ways. Head back to the town hall. Great. So this is the beginning of the game. Like, I just want to get to Rossetti, dude. So we're going to work on that. And if push comes to shove, guys, I know Rossetti's the highlight of this entire live stream. If push comes to shove, I'll go get my copy of Animal Crossing, and then we'll load up the A-Nation, and uh, we'll go from there. We'll load up the A-Nation, and then, like, maybe move in a new villager or something. Okay, did you find the perfect spot to call home? Yeah, I did. Okay, temporary housing. Excellent. House is complete. Living in a tent can be very tiring. Now you're about to registration. Complete as much as I can, but here's one thing I need to know. When is your birthday? I don't know when my birthday is. Can you still have visitors? Uh, since you rest, I forgot. I don't know what that means. Jenna, thank you for the super chat. How did it know my birthday? It auto-filled it. You can have visitors in this game. Um, yeah, we had visitors yesterday. Okay, TPC. Okay, TPC. Tap on the touch screen to access it. So we gotta build the thing? I'm not about to build this thing to troll them. So you're telling me, some of you guys, are, I'm listening to the comments, some of you guys are saying that you can only get Mr. Assetti to come yell at you if you build his public works project. And I'm not about to do that right on stream right now, so I may have to go to my, uh, my game, the A Nation, and bring a new person on board. Interesting. Bob? Koala? So, please take this sapling. Oh, this is very monumental. Okay, Abdallah, now plant the sapling by pressing the A. <laughs> pressing the A button. Here we go. That's special. That's like the intro to my older videos, right? Yay, Bob! Congratulations. I hope this tree grows just in... Uh-huh. Well then. The tree has been planted, so please relax for the rest of the day. Okay, great. So now I can just relax. Let's see what happens. We'll figure it out ourselves. Maybe we can talk to him once or twice. Because I know I have the Public Works, Public Works, Mr. Assetti little manhole cover. I have that in my town. In the A Nation, I have it. The actual A Nation. Okay, good. When you want to finish playing, press start and then select save and quit. Oh, there we go. Kind of telling me how to play this game already, huh? So, I need to save and quit and then I'm going to load up. And then, once I'm done loading up, I'm going to exit out. And hopefully that should be the way I'm going to see Mr. Rossetti for the very first time. All right, so let me go to my house. Or should I say my tent? <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go save and quit. I have zero bells, but whatever. What we like to do, we're going to save and quit. We're resetting like a, an, a responsible Animal Crossing player, apparently. All right, here we go. Mr. Rossetti, come on, buddy. I'm coming for you. I want to talk to you face to face. I don't want to look at this koala. No, I don't. Okay, Amiibo camera. Don't care about that. Don't care about that. Here we go. I'm going to Animal Crossing New Leaf. Use a spot pass. <laughs> Do you guys still get spot pass things? Is spot pass still a thing in Animal Crossing to this day? Wow, what did you possibly get? What did you possibly get in Spot Pass? Did you guys get like furniture or something back in the day? Hey, what's going on? A Nation. Yeah, yeah, here we go. We're here, here. Open up. I'm coming. <sighs> Dude, Rossetti? From what I'm hearing in the comments, he's pretty hard to find in this game. Ew, get this guy out of here. What? Pete! No, I don't care, Pete. Just go fly in the sky. I'll hit you with a... What are you doing here? No. 
What are you, what are you glitching into my mailbox? Leave. Whatever, I'll take the mail if that'll make you happy. From an unknown sender. Congrats on the mayorhood. Keep it a secret. Okay. From Nintendo. What? Welcome to Animal Crossing New Leaf. This gift will be a big help with all the exciting additions to your town. What are you waiting for? Get playing from Nintendo. They sent a letter. You guys can't see it, but it's on the bottom screen here. And then they, um, yeah, that's pretty cool. That's really interesting. I didn't realize that Nintendo sends you a letter. Is that in the Let's Play episode one? And then they gave me an instruction manual. What? Yeah, yeah, so they give the instruction manual. Excuse me? You think I need to learn how to play this game? Sorry to intrude, Mayor. Hey! I'm not decent. Why did you just barge in? I'm about to read this book. Okay, yes, I brought you something nice. It better not be an instruction manual. <laughs> it's a lantern. Okay, great, great, thank you. You're supposed to give me a radio, though. I want, like, a cardboard box and a radio. You can get out of my doorway, though. That's the only thing that you could put down. Okay, just like that. Next, lantern, press the A on it. Okay, fine, you're teaching me how to play the game? You are an instruction manual. What? So, Isabel, I said, don't give me an instruction manual, because Nintendo already sent me one. And she's like, I won't give you one, but I'll be one. <laughs> All right, anyway, so this is the item that you get from Nintendo at the beginning an instruction manual. Excuse me this thing a question mark book what I don't honestly remember that in the beginning of this game. All right. Anyway, I'm gonna go not save and Then we'll be right back. We'll see if mr. Setti wants to pop out and say hi What do you guys think is gonna happen? Let me know in the comments. What do you think is gonna happen? Let's see the varying Responses in the comments. That's one of my favorite things to do. What's gonna happen? Since I didn't save and quit, is Rossetti going to pop out or what? He better. I'm here to see him. He's my best friend. Mr. Rossetti is my best friend. Not this guy. No, absolutely not. Wow, here we go. So, oh, interesting. You think Isabel's going to put on the Mr. Rossetti hat and like yell at us for not saving? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm actually curious. Like, we just straight reset the game at the beginning right now. Hey, excuse me. Mind if I bend your ear for a bit? Won't take a second. Oh, he's here! In the loading screen? I was not expecting that. All right, I should introduce myself proper and such. The name's Rossetti. Most people call me Mr. Rossetti on account of me being a respected member of the community and such. Uh, what's up, Simkit Blue? Uh, looking forward to working with you. Of course, this will probably be the last time you ever see me since there ain't no center or nothing. Um, so it says you quit without saving last time you played. Care to explain yourself? Uh, I wanted a do-over. <laughs> oh, a do-over, huh? Something didn't quite go your way, is that the deal? Well, I guess that's one way to play it. But don't you think that uh, just may be... Uh, that just maybe it'd be more rewarding to roll with them punches you're taking. That's definitely how I'd most likely recommend you to play the game. Don't you want to do the right thing for uh, right thing and save for the kids for the whales? Come on, save the whales. What's that? You were expecting something a little different, huh? Yeah, here's the thing: the reset surveillance center, it don't exist no more. Or in the first place. When they were drawing up the town budget for this fiscal year, folks were all like, what's wrong with the little reset every now and then? We don't got the funds for this nonsense. Blah, 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 so on and so forth. So you see, I ain't here on official business or nothing. I'm just volunteering this one. So next time you reset, I ain't gonna pop out. Whoa. This is it. Old Resetti's out. Of course, if you were to use your mayoral powers to restore the center, well, that'd be different. And... If that should come to pass, I'd be back on the job in full force. Unstoppable mole power. But listen to me, run in my trap like a fancy pirate or something. Good luck with all your future endeavors. Take care now and bye bye Well, that's Mr. Rossetti. 
Well, I hope you remember to save your game before I quit playing from now on. Okay, then. Let me see. Okay, all set. Have a nice day. <laughs> That's it. Okay, so I guess the question I'm going to pose to you guys is... How long till I get this reset center? Like, how much... How long until I'm able to do public work stuff? Oh, that's going to be a long time, isn't it, right? I think I may have to jump into my other save file. Well, I'm going to... I'm going to, I'm going to exit out without saving. One more time, just to see. I want to see if he comes out. Uh, I'm going to see if he comes out. And like bells, I don't have a problem with. I know that there are going to be viewers like you guys that'll help foot the bells <laughs> in my time of need. But I'm more along the lines of curious of how long, like physically, like right now, is it going to take 10 minutes to get the new thing for the little surveillance center? I know you guys are something about um, like having a certain town approval rating. I don't know what that means. So that means that I got to like plant trees and stupid stuff like that. If that's the case, that's lame. Um, anyway. So let's see what happens. Interesting. I'm curious. Hey, mind if I bend your... Oh, no! So I didn't save after this. Unless this is the second one. This is this... Okay, so I should have saved. So this is kind of like... Um... Yeah, so, okay, uh, I'm gonna say my batteries ran out. This is like the previous Animal Crossing where you have to save, and then you have to load it up, and then switch out. There's no, there's no slight auto-saving like in the previous Animal Crossing games. Alright, anyway. Anywho. Yeah, totally not about to build my town up from scratch, so I'm just going to, I'm gonna try, um, a new flowchart. So now we're going to deviate off the path that I originally planned out here. So since Mr. Assetti is being stingy and he doesn't want to come out here, and this town doesn't have the budget for Mr. Assetti, I'm going to have to do some things in order to mitigate some of that. So I've got a couple things on my sleeves. Check this out. Check this out. All right, I'm going to save really quick. I'm going to load it up one more time just to see what happens in the event that you do exit out for the second time. He said, I won't see his face anymore. And that's fine. We're going to see him later. Trust me, we will. And maybe we might find the reset center. I don't know. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I'm curious. All right, so that's a weird-looking blue-eyed koala. All right, here we go. Mayor, I'm here. I saved. This is day two. Jo Let me jump in. And then I'm going to quit out, and then we're going to see what Isabel has to say. So if Isabel's going to be yelling at me for it, then that's fine. Then we know that we have to get this reset center going. But we did see him once, and it was awesome. All right, here we go. Goodbye. Nice one. Hey, hey. Okay. Reload. You need to have the perfect town. Once you uh, once approved, you can build a project, Jana. Thank you. For some odd reason, my chat froze for a second here. I don't know what happened, but anyway. Here we go. Uh, thank you for the super chats, everyone. You guys are awesome. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to get started without... Without getting yelled at. Okay, so Mr. Estate didn't pop up out of the floorboards. Let's see. There's a small problem. The last time you left without saving your game. So some of what you did last time may be gone. I'm very sorry. Please remember to save whenever you leave the game, okay? Wow. That's it? No Mr. Assetti. He's totally not here. Wow. Okay. That's a thing. Interesting. Interesting. So now we're going to go to plan B and we are going to get this going here. So let's hit this up. Nice one. All right. Going back to the A Nation. Dang. That's kind of a bummer. 
just a little bit of a baby bummer. So. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Extra data. Sure, whatever. Don't care about swap pass. All right, we're going to continue. So, maybe I should make a new person in town. Uh, yeah, you know what? I think I'm going to make a new person. Yeah, no, we're going to make a new person. Okay, uh... Hold on, hold on. <laughs> if I make a new person in my pre-existing town and then soft reset or actually hard reset that should make Mr. Assetti come out one time, right? Let's find out. We're trying to get this guy to come out here, man. See, you know, this is why he, he's losing his job because Isabel's taking over the job and it's more nice to say, hey, can you make sure that you save next time? Can you make sure that you save next time, please? Thank you, because you're going to lose all your data. All right, so anyway, a little bit of deja vu from the very beginning of the stream here. I'm going to make Abdallah with the 11s. He's going to be our second guy, and then we're going to get this going. Have a seat, Rover. Step into my office. I'm a new person uh, that does not share the same name as the previous... Abdallah that you had earlier. I spell my name with an 11 in the middle of it because I, I'm all about that leet speak, right? You guys know that leet speak? <laughs> oh my gosh, I cannot believe I said that. I never. I don't even know what that means. Truly, I have no idea. He does kind of look like Havernyan. Yeah, Havernyan. <laughs> you know, we speak. Oh, some of you guys know Leet Speak. That's a, that's actually a language. I remember when I was in high school, some people were like typing in Leet Speak, and I said, "What is that? What's with like the threes and like the L's and the ones and the sevens? Like, what is this nonsense? It looks stupid." Um, but that's what it was. All right, here we go. Going to A Nation. So the train came from the other way this time around. Interesting. Okay, here we go. We're moving on in. And then I'm going to do this whole, like, Isabel rigmarole. Going to get my house, and then I'm going to reset. Look! That's me. And that's my flag. How in the world is it here? I thought I erased the game. All right, message from someone in the town hall. She wants you to go there first thing. Give you this map of the town. Yeah, no, no, we're good. Thanks, buddy. Yo, that's the actual. That's the actual one. It's called magic. <laughs> I'm coming, man. Yo, nice gold house, dude. Nice pads. What's all this stuff on the ground? And who's that ugly looking bear? Yo, this is the real A Nation. Will the real A Nation please stand up? Alright, good times, good times. Alright, I'm here. I'm here to see Mr. Assetti. I've got an appointment with him. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I'm here to see Mr. Assetti, lady. I'm here to see Mr. Rossetti. All right, Tom Nook, not here to see you. <laughs> I'm here for one person and one person only. Mm -hmm. 
Where the heck am I moving in? Oh my gosh, this is the town of A Nation? I guess I'm moving right here. Here's fine. Yeah, yeah, let's go right here. This is going to be my storage house. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm not ever going to play this game again. Right in front of the cafe, like, that's an awesome place to live. Okay. Got it. We're good. We're gonna hit this. We're gonna hit it hard. Alright, goodbye. So, those of you guys that watch my old episodes, do you guys know where my manhole cover is? Do you know where my sewer cover is? In this town? I know I bought it. I think someone informed me. I think Aaron may have informed me that I did it in one of the episodes. And then I just said, alright, cool. Like, <laughs> Where is it, man? Uh, I did find it. Oh, uh, when is my birthday? Yeah, I've got the same birthday as Abdal. It's weird. Where is it in my town? Only the true fans would know this. Um, Abdallah, it's in episode 27 of your Let's Play at timestamp 2719. <laughs> That's the comment I actually want. Where are you guys at? <laughs> Alright, official member. Good job, kid. You can now save your game. Okay, so let's take a look. Let's see what happens when we save the game and then we quit. Right? Okay, so we're going to save and quit. Now, hold on. I have to verify that this thing is actually here. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Um, no can confirms. All right, I need to find this manhole cover. Is there a fast way of guaranteeing that it actually exists? Like, I would go into Isabel and talk about public works. Is that kind of how it works? All right, keep your eyes peeled. I want to find this thing first. Ah, where is it? Maybe it's on the Northern Hemisphere. Some of you guys are saying under my house. Like I built my house directly on top of it? Ah, ah, ah. This is, is this it? This is... I guess technically to the south of my house. All right, so we have it. Uh, Resetti did not come out here and recommend it because I have it. Um, so that being said, let's quit. Interesting. Oh, way back in the day. All right, so I do have it. We're going to save and quit. I'm going to load up Abdallah with the 11s. I'm going to reset. And now I need to find out what the heck happens. We have the surveillance center, which is the public works project, according to you guys. I did this seven plus years ago. I have no recollection. All right, so we're going to continue. I'm going to be Ab Ab Abdalevina. <laughs> and then, uh, then we're going to go figure out what happens here. So I did save. So now I need to load up and I need to quit and we're going to see if Rossetti comes out because I do have the money and I did make the public works project. We've got the little sewer here. So 
So we've cons we've confirmed that soft resetting does not work. We have confirmed this. So I need to exit hard and then reload the save file. Okay, here we go. So, remember, save the game. We have the Public Works Mr. Resetti Surveillance Center available. And now, we're gonna see if Mr. Resetti will come out and yell at me, because I'm trying to be his friend. I really am. I, I need to go find out where my Resetti Amiibo is. I don't know if I have it, to be honest. What happens if I scan in the Resetti Amiibo? Okay, to get it to open, you need to wait until it's raining, then the night after it. Apparently. It's the word on the street. Let's see what's up. Oh, Lola, just delivered the mail to you. Already put in your mailbox. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. So, absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing happens. Rossetti does not come out here. I quit. I have no repercussions for quitting in Animal Crossing New Leaf. You see this? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That is interesting. I think that's it. How do we manipulate the the weather in this game? If we scan his amiibo, we'll get his camper. Maybe at the end of the stream? But, like, as of right now, I'm just going to save and quit. We're going to go in the regular Abdallah, and I guess I'm time traveling until it's raining. You think it's because of Pete? I'll try again. I don't mind. You guys know that better than I do. We'll, we'll, we'll take these suggestions. I'll, I should take the mail, save, and then go again. You think Pete is refraining uh, Rossetti from coming out? Weird. I'll, I'll try it. Alright, here we go. Rossetti, I'm coming for you, man. I can get you. I have his amiibo somewhere. Oh gosh, this is me. Whoops. Wrong guy. I need to be the other Abdal. This is getting not confusing at all. Here we go. I gotta choose the correct Abdallah, and then I've gotta go take the mail, save, and then hard quit. Get this ugly bear out of here. Continue. Other me. Okay, here we go. All these hoops to find the best Animal Crossing character in the game. Just saying, man. You think K.K. Slider's cool? Guess what? He's not. He's not as cool as Rossetti is. Mr. Rossetti, I'm coming for you, buddy. I'm taking this mail. Okay, so Pete... I don't think Pete has anything to do with Rossetti doing anything. So I just took the mail. We're going to save... Yeah, the game, the game, they, they've just, they've changed the tone of the game. They give you one quick conversation with Rossetti at the beginning, saying, hey, you know, try not to do this. I'm out of money. I'm not going to be coming to tell you this anymore, which is very interesting. I mean, a lot of people, ew. Uh, a lot of people really were, they didn't like Rossetti. And maybe the feedback over the years, Nintendo's just like, you know what, people don't like Rossetti. We can save a little bit of dev time by not developing Rossetti's conversations, him popping up, this and that. And we can just skip him out. So they gave him... They just... They gave him the hammer. Wow. That's sad to see. Yeah, it's sad to see. My favorite character in the entire Animal Crossing franchise... Okay, so I saved. Here we go. We're going to go, and we're going to hard reset. This is a hard reset out. So this is going to prove whether or not some of you guys in the comments thought that Pete had something to do with it. We saved. After getting the mail, 
And now we've got, we hard reset it, so this should trigger a Mr. Assetti conversation. Uh, if he actually does this in this game. And we're visiting this like seven years later, which is weird. Like, I did not have a cool Mr. Rossetti obsession back then, as we do now. Because, like, see, we've, like, we've got Galaxy Brain over here. Wonderful, let me get you set up. Alright, so this is it. Like, no repercussions. You can do everything in your town, You and if you didn't like the outcome... And she doesn't even mention it. She absolutely does not mention you soft resetting. And Rossetti does- Oh my gosh, he's here! Maybe, you guys are right, cool. Hey, excuse me, hey, my guy! I'm from the uh, Reset Surveillance Center, name's Rossetti. You can call me Mr. Rossetti, cause that's my name. Not my full name, but you ain't my ma, so? Anyway, nice to meet ya. I'm, I got really surprised here, I didn't think it was gonna work. By the way, the last time you played, maybe you forgot to save before you quit? Now I know when things don't go your way and you want them to, uh, you reset and try your luck again. Yeah, I guess that's one way to play. But taking what life gives you and rolling with the punches, that's a better ride in my book. That's how this mole suggests you play the game. My suggestion. What I'm telling you is the mayor of this burg set up the reset center for a reason. Okay, okay, I see what this is. All right. Reset is frowned upon here in A Nation, and it's my job to see people follow the rules. Got it? When you're finished playing, you gotta save. We clear here? I hope so. Don't need no stress. Oh yeah, one last thing. It ain't Bob Wire. It's Barbed Wire. It's got barbs. <laughs> it ain't got bobs. No bobs! Now scram! Wow! So good! Thank you! Alright, round of applause for that guy. Round of applause for that guy. So now the thing in question is, does the game auto-save that first conversation? Or do I need to save, load up the game, and then quit? I don't know. I kind of think it's the latter more than the former. But we got Rossetti to say hi. And that's simply because in my main town, I did purchase the Reset Surveillance Center. So now the little beeps and the sirens go off every time someone resets. So that's good. No bobs, man. All right, let's uh, let's quit out. Um, I think it'll be yeah. Let's just quit out and see what happens. Let's see if it does a little bit of auto save, even though we've kind of confirmed that it doesn't auto save. So let's see if he says the exact same thing. Then we know that it doesn't auto save a little bit. So we're gonna go from there. <laughs> what about Bob Wire? There's no one calls it Bob Wire. No way. Absolutely not. No way. I refuse to believe that. <laughs> Dark Gamer says, Rossetti the Bob Destroyer. Right? We don't even have Bob in this town. We don't even have Bob in this town. He's not here. Well, thank you, Dark Gamer, for the super chat. He said, hashtag no Bobs, man. No one calls it Bob. Bobbed wire. I'm from the Reset Surveillance Center, name's Rossetti, you can call me Mr. Rossetti. Okay, so that's it. Alright, so I was I was a little bit more leaning towards the later, but I needed to confirm it. So we got the save, now I know when things will go wrong. Okay, guess one of okay, got it, yep. He's got a lot of texture and shading this time around. His eyes seem to be way more beady than normal. No bobs! Now scram. Alright, so I do have to save. Alright, 100% can confirm, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's cool. No Bob's, man. Even though Bob's the best character, dude. All right. <laughs> Here we go. Bob the Builder. Who's Bob? Why is Bob the best villager? Ha <laughs> Uh, yeah, we're gonna continue. What is this? We, we, we put R's where there is none and take out R's where there are. Like saying warsh instead of wash? Welcome to the Midwest? I would never say warsh. Are you kidding me? Who the heck talks like that? 
They need to get a lesson in phonics. All right. <laughs> Yo, hooked on phonics worked for me. How about you guys? All right, let's go. All right, so now we quit. We say nice one, and we keep on going. Dun 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 dun. People from Missouri. <laughs> phonics. Hey, it's that duck. All right, here we go. Continue. This is our second conversation with Mr. Assetti. Maybe third, technically. Uh, Isabel even said, yo, chill on the resetting. But she said it nicely. <laughs> Bob and Todd is bod? Why would you put those two together? You're trying to... <laughs> You're trying to hurt me here? <laughs> All right, here we go. Is Mr. Setti going to come out? Oh, yeah, he did. Hey, how you doing? I'm with the Reset Surveillance Center. I need a few minutes of your time. Yeah, so last time you played, looks like you quit without saving. How'd that happen? Oh, no, there's the same options. I wanted to reset. And here we go. I wanted to reset ain't the answer I'm looking for. Come on, it ain't that hard. Listen up. I'm going to lead you to water one more time, and you're going to drink. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> you ready for this? You're playing Animal Crossing New Leaf, Welcome Amiibo, and having fun. It's about time to call it a day. So what's your next move? Huh? What was that? You press start and choose save and quit. Winner, winner, earthworm dinner. You do that and all the stuff you've done in the day gets remembered, see? But if you forget, them fish you caught, the furniture you finally got, them memories you made. Poof, all gone in an instant. No one wants to see that. So don't forget to save properly. And I know all about them cheating punks who reset on purpose, too. Some didn't go their way. Their shoes were too tight or their ma was mean or whatever. So they just quit without saving. They erase it from ever happening. They're using reset for do-overs. Finding them resetting cheaters and reading them, reading them the riot act is what the resetter pays me for. Get it? <laughs> the reset center. Uh, maybe you've heard the old wives' tale about moles never getting angry for anything, yeah? Well, them wives were off their rockers, because this mole ain't taking no guff from punk kids. Next time you see me, I'll be wearing my angry hat. You've been warned. Oh yeah, one last thing. This is my favorite part. They call it coleslaw, not cold slaw. I don't really see the big deal, but... Gee, ma, I says, give a mole a break. It ain't like I said hot slaw. Hey, what you looking at, punk? Now scram. <laughs> okay. So confirmed that Mr. Rossetti has a mom that has once in his life served him cold slaw. <laughs> Dude, no one calls it cold slaw. Unless people do. I mean, what do you guys pronounce it? You guys pronounce it cold slaw? No one does. Don't even. If you say yes, you did pronounce that. You're just messing with me. It's coleslaw. <laughs> Easy, ma. It's not like I said hot slaw. <laughs> it's so funny. Uh, oh my gosh, cold slaw. Bob does not eat anything. He's not even here. Bob is not allowed in the A Nation. No Bobs, man. All right, here we go. That was cool. You guys even like coleslaw? There are some times where I don't even like coleslaw, you know what I mean? Like, coleslaw is like, what, like cabbage and like a little bit of dressing and some julienne carrots and... Uh, whoa, whoa, wrong dude, dang it. Wrong dude, I gotta quit. That's a misplay. Yeah, yeah, coleslaw, coleslaw is relatively gross, Claire Possum, I, or what is that, Clary Possum? I, I agree with you more often than not, coleslaw is not good. Subjectively, coleslaw may be your favorite food, and there's nothing wrong with that. But it's subjectively not the best food, nor the best like side dish. But there are some restaurants that I've gone to where they would put like a little side of coleslaw, and I say I don't even like coleslaw, but I ate the whole thing because it was so good. You guys are making me want some cold slaw, man. So coleslaw and I, we're. We're okay. Like, I'm not a picky eater. Like, you guys know me. I talk about food all the time. Coleslaw, it's an okay thing. Like, I'll eat it. But it it's different. From wherever you go, it's different. Anyway, you coleslaw haters. 
Uh, Gabe, what's up? Dang, Gabe, everyone, round of applause for Gabe in the comments. Coming on board the Superstar VIP tier. That is amazing. That is really good. So everyone, round of applause. If you guys have a star emote, make sure you guys throw that star emote on there for Gabe. Dude, thanks, man. Uh, the Superstar VIP tier, we do some Discord um, Discord chats, like some VIP stuff. So yeah, let me know. Thanks, man. Stars and everything in the comments. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, is that Gabe? Oh, that is Gabe. Thanks for remi reminding me. <laughs> Gabe. All right. Here we go. Excellent. Thanks, man. Well then, shall we get started? We should. Uh, yeah, we're gonna get started. So this is maybe like the fourth conversation with Rossetti here. Let's see what he do uh, what he does. Oh, save and continue. Yeah, Alex, thank you. I that, I can do that. I can do save and continue. Absolutely. Hey, hey you, I'm with the Reset Center. I need a few minutes of your time. Here's the deal. Last time I played your game, you quit without saving. You want to tell me how that could have happened? Oh no, my batteries were dead. Really? Batteries? They just went kaput on you. Hmm. Do us both a favor, try to keep him charged. Or keep an eye on him at all times, okay? A little crust from me to you. Yeah, see you around. That's boring. That's boring. I can save and continue and then quit. Genius. Why didn't I think of that? So I don't have to quit, load it up, and do that. Because that was the old way of doing it. In what? City folk or something? Okay, here we go. Ah, interesting. Okay, so save and quit, and now I can exit out. Dude, that was so boring. Rossetti got nerfed this generation. What the heck, man? Dang, dude. That's so bad. He got nerfed. We only got four conversations with him. Maybe three. We'll see what we'll see what he has to say right now. What does he have to say for himself? And then apparently we're gonna go try to find uh, some rainy weather, which I have no idea how we're going to generate rainy weather. Is there a guaranteed date and time and year in the game that has guaranteed rainy weather that I could time travel to? Because if that's the case, I will do it in a heartbeat. But it's not like you have the Song of Storms and you can just turn it rainy. So, dude. Hey, hey, I'm with the resets. I need a few minutes of your time. Here's the deal. Last time you played your game, you quit without saving. You want to tell me how that could have happened? I'm going to click on I don't remember. That's so. You really don't remember a thing, huh? Well, I got no clues, and I ain't no detective or nothing. Sorry for the trouble. Okay, I'm out of here. Dude. No wonder he lost his job. It's really depressing. What has R Mr. Rossetti come to? He's just he's just old. He's burnt out. Yo, he used to be like super gung-ho in the very first Animal Crossing, and it was so much fun. And now it's just like, oh. I mean, I get paid to do this stuff, but like, what's the point? <sighs> That's frustrating, man. What do you guys think? All right, I'm going to save and quit. Okay, so now begins the, the hunt for the reset center. It's lame, man. I kind of feel bad for the guy. Um, so, hold on, hold on. If I keep on saying, like, I wanted to reset more than once, I'm going to get different, um, different dialogues from him? I'll try that. I'm down to try anything. I'm at, I'm kind of down in the dumps right now because they did him dirty this generation. Yep. I'll try it. I'll try it a couple more times. I wanted to see his bat, like, even if your batteries run out, he's like, all right, no worries, cool, see you later. And even if you get, if you forget why you reset, he's like, all right, well, I don't know either, see ya. But if you say you wanted to reset, maybe he's got some different lines and he gets really angry and then maybe I go hide and maybe he does the, hey, like, 
I repent kind of a deal? They could. I don't know, man. All I know is that the Rossetti that we've come to love over the past, what, 17 years? The past 17 years for Animal Crossing, he's gone. As far as I know. He's a big softy now. He's a big inflatable softy that you can poke, put him in your house. <sighs> Sad day. Yeah, we don't have the up-close Rossetti. That only happened in one generation. All right, buddy. Hey, you, I'm with the Reset Center. I did want to reset. I wanted to reset. Huh, that's so. Give me a sec, will you? I gotta switch gears. Um, oh yeah, Miss. this is the angry Rossetti. Let's do this! Oh, good. <laughs> I said no resetting. What don't you get? The no or the resetting part? Whew, that was that was intense. I didn't even press the A button to advance the text on that. I had to yell like that for ages. Now I'm seeing spots over here. Know what I think? I think you got a melon made of titanium or something. Answer me this, kid. Is there a reset button in real life? If you tank a test, can you hit rewind and take it again? How about if you oversleep? Can you rewind time and get your tuchus out of bed? He said tuchus. Huh? Of course you can't. You know why that is? It's called life. Look, in a game, okay, you can reset and try the same thing over and over again. But you know what, Abdallah? The time you spent playing, it's gone. And you ain't getting it back. If some piddling thing don't go your way, who cares? What's the big deal? It's just a game. Psh. What's up with this mole? How long is he gonna yell at me? Yeah, that's the face you're making. Alright, whatever. Maybe I overdid it a bit and all this yapping got me real worn out. But you're tired of it too, huh? Let's call it a day, all right? But you gotta promise me. When you're done playing, you gotta save and quit. Or else! We clear? Oh yeah, one last thing. You know how sometimes you get to, point, to a point in a conversation where the whole thing is a mute point? No, it's not a mute point. Well, it ain't on mute. The point's moot. Moot, like a cow. You can't mute a cow. That's my language, tip of the day. What do you want? I'm a cultured mole. <laughs> no, Scram. Wow. He is a cultured mole. I will, I'll give him that. You mute point. No way. No one says mute. Oh, come on. But -da -dun -dun -dun. Wow, man. Mr. Rossetti. All right. So now we know how to trigger Mr. Rossetti. This is good. This is good. I was getting a little sad. Honestly, I was getting a little sad. So we did save, we're gonna quit here, and then we're gonna find out what he has to say. We're gonna see what happened. We're gonna make him lose his job. <laughs> He's so cultured. He's the most cultured character in all of Animal Crossing. Little do you guys know. Some of you guys have never seen my videos about like the best of Mr. Rossetti, so you guys don't know the full depth of this character. And for that, I apologize. You're missing out on life if you don't know Mr. Rossetti's voice lines and dialogues. You really are. You can't call yourself an Animal Crossing fan if you don't like Mr. Rossetti. Just throwing it out there. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. Call yourself whatever you want. As long as you don't call yourself a mute point. Or what, it, what was the other one? Something weird that people supposedly mispronounce. But he likes language, and I like language, too. I'm really big on language. The ing- Oh my gosh! It's Don. Whoa, who set off the alarm? It's like being back in the control room with no headphones or something. Yo, it's Don. <laughs> okay, so, right. Pleased to meet you. The name's Don. I'm Sonny's older brother. I thought he was younger. Mm, did I get that wrong? Okay. Thanks for putting up with the little twerp. I know it ain't easy. Sonny's blood pressure got a bit higher than it should've, so he's sitting at home just taking a load off. 
And here I am, taking care of things for the family business. So let's just get into it. Ahem. Abdallah, looks like the last time you played, you quit without saving. You want to tell me what happened? Uh, I wanted to reset. Uh... Okay, here we go. Sonny has this thing where he yells and lectures and gets all carried away. I'm sure it caused some troubles with folks. And for that, I offer my sincerest apologies. But you know, and yeah, this is coming from his brother. He ain't a bad mole, so give him a break, okay? It's one thing to be passionate about the job, but he can be, uh, he can be a bit inflexible, you know? Yeah. Tact ain't his strong suit. And that mouth, away with words, he ain't got. Not much going for him. But he's a good mole, so cut him some slack, will ya? Do it for old Don! Oh, uh, where's my head? I don't take care of business, and HQ is gonna have to put me on a report. All right, here goes nothing. Um, um, me my mole. Uh, resetting ain't good, so uh, don't do it. We crystal? You know, like clear? Do yourself a solid and remember what I just told you. Hmm, yeah, I think that should cover it. Now, if you don't mind, I gotta be getting back. Be a good kid and stay out of trouble. See ya. Don gang? What is that, Don squad? Yo, Don's cool. Don is cool. I do like Don. Don's a little bit more level-headed, but yo, you can't you can't best Mr. Rossetti. He's the best character. He's like Mario to Luigi. Like you just can't. Sure, Luigi's got a mansion and some little spin-off knockoff games, but Mario is the star of the show. Mario's Rossetti. Don is Luigi. Remember this conversation? <laughs> I I think we've had this conversation, didn't we? It's like Mario and Luigi. And then we got into a conversation about, like, who's older, Mario or Luigi. And then I asked the Cole comments, and everyone was wrong. It was great. It was a fun time. Let's not do that again. Anyway. Dude, I love Donnie, boy. Don is the best. After Mr. Rossetti. No, no, Don doesn't really have a lot of voice lines. He doesn't. No, he's not as cool. I would say it goes, like, Mr. Rossetti, then Isabel, then maybe Tom Nook. And then DJ KK. And then maybe like Rover. I think that's how I'd like do the top five characters. <laughs> oh man. You hear Rocco? Yeah, Rocco is here. He said hi. Some of you guys heard that. Oh my gosh, he's backwards. Hey, I'm with the reset set. Huh? <laughs> oh, here you are. Hey, it's me from the Reset Center. Can I get a few minutes of your time? Thanks. So, uh, last time you played, it looks like you quit without saving. How'd that happen? Well, I wanted to reset. What's that? Really? In that case, give me just one second, will you? Cough, cough. Here we go. He's gonna go nuts. <laughs> it's you again. How many times do we have to do this? <laughs> I'm just getting over being sick. I ain't ready for this yet. But you, you don't seem to have gotten the message yet. Grr, let's do this one more time. Here goes. Let's forget about other games for a minute, okay? This here's Animal Crossing New Leaf Welcome Amiibo. It's a special case. What I'm suggesting to you, you little mole agitator, is that you try playing this game without resetting. Look at it this way. There's no reset in real life, is there? No, of course not. That'd be crazy. Look, I know you're thinking, this is a game. Leave me alone already. I hear you, but it ain't happening. The Reset Center is here to enforce the rules, and you gotta make your peace with that. Think you got it rough? When the reset alarm goes off, I don't really, uh, it don't really matter if I'm eating or taking a bath. I could be dreaming of chocolate-flavored earthworms. It don't matter, I gotta dig, end of story. Chocolate-flavored earthworms. Hmm. You can't see from up there, but I didn't have time to put on my socks and shoes. <laughs> well, now then. I'm tired of yapping, how about we call it a day? But listen to me, no more resetting, we clear? Oh, and yeah, one last thing. You know when you say something happened cause some other thing caused it? Like, I chalked up his resetting ways to not knowing the rules? You ever hear that one before? Notice I said chalk and not chuck. That's cause I ain't throwing nothing. Chuck means throw. Don't throw things, you can put an eye out. 
It's all fun and games until a mole loses an eye. Now scram! <laughs> no one says, like, you chuck it up. I, okay. He's, he's over-exaggerating, this guy. The writing staff was really stretching it here. That's so funny, though. He said that he didn't even get to put on his shoes and socks. <laughs> Remember when he told us one time that he wore a t-shirt as underwear? And then we got that picture in our mind? of how you would wear a t-shirt as underwear. You guys remember that? Hands up in the comments if you guys remember that. I thought that was the funniest thing and I still remember it to this date. T-shirt for underwear. Okay, think of it like the sleeves, right? You put your two legs through the sleeves and then you got one hole directly in the middle. Weird. Just put that, let that be a little vision in your head right now. Let that be a little vision that you cannot unsee in your head right now. Mr. Assetti, t-shirt for underwear. Cannot unsee. No, no, totally can't. You guys can try it at home. Just make sure that you do it in the comfort of no one else being around. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Hey you, it's me again. You want to tell your old pal Rossetti what happened? Uh, I wanted to reset. Ah, you did, did ya? That's how this is gonna play out. It's go time. Don't you move a single resetting muscle. I'll be right with ya. Oh, great. This is good. Grah! How can it be you again? How? Do you even know why I'm here? Dirt clods. I gotta run through this all again, don't I? Whoa, whoa, testing one, two, three. Let's forget about other games, shall we? It's hard, but just do it. This here's Animal Crossing New Leaf Welcome Amiibo. Yo, he just did that without me pressing the A button. Notice how that title is still different from other games. One of my duties is to ask you to play the game without any of that uh, resetting nonsense. I'm not pressing anything. I know what you're thinking. I can play any way I want. It's my game. I hear you. Believe you me. But here's the deal. The game's got its own rules, except that Okay, I hope it's sunk in. Now let's see, what's the next part? Earthworms? Nah, that ain't right. Come on, Resetty, think. Oh yeah, and there's a re there's no reset button in the real world. Yo, that was auto-scroll. Good, got that taken care of. That means, right, time to tell you that- Whoa, don't get mad at me. I got nothing to do with that rule. Yo, you better not be sleeping, huh? You've been so quiet. I was thinking you was in dreamland. This is awesome. Auto-scroll? But if you say you've been listening, I'll take your word. Trust, it's a two-way street, you know? All right, I think you learned your lesson. Go do something fun. But hey, no more resetting. Oh yeah, one last thing. A really bad headache is called a migraine. Not a mind grain. <laughs> it's painful. But it ain't some fancy health food for your noggin. Believe me, I'd know. Now scram. What the heck just happened? Yo, Rossetti just went on a tangent. And I couldn't even read it as fast. Oh my gosh, yo, mind grain. Man, he was reading those texts so fast, I think I got a mind grain. Just saying, I need to go take my mind grain. Anyone have any Excedrin? Need some mind grain medicine. Wow, dude, Mr. Rossetti's the best. Yo, he's teaching you English? He's correcting you guys on English. <laughs> a lot of you guys call it a mind grain, I know. It's very common, it's a common misconception. <laughs> this is really hilarious. All right, let's continue on. We're just gonna drive him to the point of insanity where he goes into the next Animal Crossing title and he's just like, no, I'm just gonna operate a helicopter. I lost my job at the reset center because this one punk kid kept on resetting and the surveillance center you know made a report on me now scram all right Rossetti what you got buddy give me some more lay it on me lay it on me buddy I love Mr. Rossetti best animal hey there how's it going yeah last time you played looks like you kind of quit without saving what's the deal 
I wanted to reset. Aha! Uh -huh. Guilty as charged. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Alrighty then. Don't you move. I'll be right with you. I don't get it. What's your deal? I talk and I talk, but I get nowhere. Alright. Let's run through this one more time. All you gotta do is stand there and listen, clear? I know there's a lot of other games out there with strange rules, but we ain't talking about them. This here's Animal Crossing New Leaf. Welcome, Amiibo. Emphasis on a new part. We strongly, strongly suggest you play this game. Without none or a setting. It's my game. I can do what I want. This is auto-scroll, by the way. I know what you're thinking. I really do. But rules as rules. Sooner you get on board the Rossetti bus and accept it, the better off you are. What am I yapping about? Right, let's see. What else was I going to tell you? Uh, Yeah, that's it. Ain't no reset button in real life. There ain't no do-overs, yada yada. Let me skip to the end. You gotta play the cards life deals ya. Yo, you awake over there? I, I can't even read fast enough. You've been so quiet, I was worried. You might have drifted off on me. So really, you've been listening the whole time? No quick catnaps? Perfect. I like that. Looks like it learned your lesson, so let's call it a day. But listen, don't make me come back here. And don't think I won't. Oh yeah, and one last thing. You don't get a, a new leash on life. You get a new lease. A new lease means you're excited about living. New leash? That means you got a new pet or something. Now scram! What? Okay. That's cool. A new leash on life? I don't think anyone says that, guy. <laughs> yeah, everyone's thinking it. Animal Crossing new leash. <laughs> wow. Back to back comments. And get a load of this guy. It says, don't reset, please. <laughs> I cannot believe my life with a comment like that. You're telling the guy who's trying to put Mr. Rossetti out of a job to stop resetting? Are you kidding me? Pfft. Pfft. That's funny. Nice joke, kiddo. Here we go. Mr. Rossetti, tell me more. Animal Crossing New Leash. <laughs> Okay, shall we get started? Yeah, here we go. I'm looking for Mr. Rossetti. I got a new leash for him. Like, literally, I'm holding on to a leash, and I'm about to lasso his cone-shaped body. And I'm gonna get him. We're gonna wrangle him, and I'm gonna put him in my house, on display. We're gonna donate him to the museum. His cone-shaped body. Hey there! How's it going? Yeah, last time you played, looks like you kinda quit without saving. What's the deal? I wanted to reset. Aha, uh -huh, guilty as charged. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Alrighty then, don't you move. I'll be right with it. Is this the end? Guys, is this the end of Mr. Rossetti's lines in the game? Grah. I don't get it. What's your deal? I talk and I talk, but I get nowhere. Alright, let's run through this one more time. All you gotta do is stand there and listen, clear? Aha, uh -huh, I know there's a lot of other games out there with strange rules, but we're not talking about them. This is Animal Crossing New Leaf, part of the new here. Strongly suggest you play the game without resetting. That's my game. I can do what I want. Sure, I know what you're thinking, and I get it. I really do. But rules is rules, so when you get on board, the better off we'll all be. You get what I'm yapping about, right? Now, let's see. What else is I going to tell you? Uh, yeah, that's it. Ain't no reset button in real life. There ain't no do-overs. Let me skip to the end. Got to play the cards. Deal. Okay, big time. Tap, tap, tap. Here we go. Tap, tap, tap. Enough. It's driving me nuts. <laughs> you trying to break your buttons or something? I counted 156 mashes. Give it a rest, will ya? This ain't no button pressing contest. Who do you think you are? Buttons McGee? I doubt you even know who that is, or even if that's a real person. Well, it ain't. All right, that's it, I get it. This mole's done for the day. I'm cutting you free, punk. But please, for the love of all that's good and filled with dirt, no more resetting, got that? Oh yeah, one last thing. You don't get a new leash on life, you get a new lease. A uh, new lease means you're excited about living. A new lease, okay. So interesting. That was a tip from one of you guys in the comments. Said keep on pressing the A button, uh, and you'll get him to say something different. 156 button presses. Is that a random number, or do you think I can just be out here like slamming the A button like we're playing Mario Party? You guys want to test it? Can I get like over 500 button presses? Oh man, dang! Did I miss a super chat from Mikey somewhere? Yo, what happened? I don't know. 
Uh, but anyway, if you're here, hi. Good to see ya. Should we try it? Yo, should I become Buttons McGee over here? In real life, the IRL Buttons McGee? <laughs> Yo, Buttons McGee. Let's go. Alright, here we go. 500 button presses. Yo, I, I mash a mean button, guys. I don't know if you see me play Mario Party. But if you guys were ever over at my house and I invited you over for dinner and Mario Party, you would not want to play Mario Party with me. At least the skill mini games. Maybe you'd want to play the luck mini games. Sure. Who doesn't? Uh, Wilberto, hey, what's going on? Thanks for the super chat. Here we go. Don't play Mario Party with me. You don't want to play Smash Bros with me. You don't want to play Mario Kart with me. <laughs> we can play Overcooked together. I'll get a little loud and I'll tell you what to do, but it'll be fun. <laughs> Playing games with Abdallah in real life. Something you don't ever want to do. No, I mean, maybe you will. Or maybe I'll just go easy on you. But I can sell that really well. If I let you in, I can sell it really well. I'm good at that. I got a lot of practice. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm going to be mashing this button, dude. All right, predictions in the comments right now. Triple digit numbers. How many times am I going to mash the A button while Rossetti's talking to me? I don't know when a clear start and stop is going to be, but we're going to do it. Get ready. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right, here we go. Don't you move. I'll be right with you. Predictions in the comments. How many? Triple digits. I'm pressing A and B, I guess. I don't know if that counts as anything. I won't alternate them. It's gonna be like a world record edition. Is this even happening? Three hundred forty-six. <laughs> they actually count. Wow, three hundred and forty-six button presses. You saw that scroll really quick. That's so hilarious. Someone at Nintendo programmed a button counter. <laughs> Some of you guys actually said like three hundred-ish. Dang, can I hit 400? I'm gonna hit 400. Here we go. This is Animal Crossing speedruns world record, ladies and gents. Animal Crossing world record of how many button presses you can do in Mr. Assetti's dialogue. And I'm gonna be the world record holder for at least an hour. All right, Guinness World Records. Here, come verify me. Do you need like a camera of my of my hand, like pressing the buttons? Uh, maybe I should put it on screen so that you guys see it. Oh, we're gonna go over 400. All right, here we go. Now you guys got another chance. You got another chance at... at guessing. You have another chance at guessing, right? So I'm going to hit 400. I know for a fact I am. So just like how over 400 am I going to get? So 400 is your benchmark. Let's see some predictions in the comments. Here we go. And it's like, I need this on a desk. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Okay, I got this, man. I got it. Maybe if I press all the buttons? Does X and Y scroll through text at all? No, I don't think... Maybe they do. Maybe I'll do like three fingers? Uh, yeah, maybe. Okay, here we go. I'm, I'm preparing like an Olympic athlete over here. Because I'm going to be a world record holder. With the most button presses on Mr. Rossetti. And none of you guys are going to beat me. You know why? Because none of you guys have this game. None of you guys have the audacity to even try. And none of you guys are going to tweet at me. Just saying. Here we go. Just saying. You're not going to. I don't think I could... I think I could do it with three. 
I need, man, world, Guinness World Records, man. And even if you did tweet a picture at me, it was photoshopped. Sorry. <laughs> Get ready. <laughs> Alright, here you go, man. I don't know when it starts. Totally not getting tired here. I only got three fingers on the wheel, man. The Olympics, man. Here we go. It's fine. We got this. This is 400, man. Is he saying the right thing? All right, here we go. I'm going to break something vital. <laughs> He's actually counting with different texts this time around. 434 times. That's how many button mashes I counted. You going for a... Was that dialogue unlocked because we did the resets more than one, more than like two times with the button pressings? I don't know when it stops counting too. I could have gone to like 450. But like right when he said tap, 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 I'm like, all right, well, they, maybe the programming stopped exactly at that part. And I didn't want to scroll through it really quick. That was like 400 button pressings, man. Let's go. Are you trying to set a world record or something? How does he know that? That's so creepy. I don't, dude, this game never ceases to amaze me. I didn't think I'd have this much fun with Mr. Rossetti today. I remember when I was sad? Remember when I was sad? Because Mr. Rossetti didn't get the voice lines or the dialogues or anything like that. I thought they did him dirty. But no, man, he's just as cool as ever. Although he's not forcing me to say I repent or I don't have a little slide meter. That's kind of boring. Dude. All right, here we go. Really go for it. See, like, if I'm going to put my hands over here, this is, like, way harder for me to do. And I did the three. I did three. So I was pressing A, B, and Y. I don't know if that counted towards anything. It's probably, like, A and B, though. Because B advances text. Or maybe I just go, like, fat thumb. <laughs> Yo, I got some really big thumbs here. Don't make fun of my fat thumbs. <clears throat> or maybe I, um... You know, if you, like, take your sleeve and you just, like, if you go like this, like, left and right. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Oh, wrong dude. Wrong cool guy. Sorry. Yeah, that Rossetti was awesome, man. Da-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na
Otherwise, you're going to be disqualified. The Guinness World Records, that, that's what they require. All right, here we go. You ready? I think I can do better than four. I'm just going to do the double instead of the triple. I don't think triple was doing anything. Yeah, there we go. We got a nice rhythm here. This is fine. I don't know when to start. Yeah, this is a really good rhythm. Here we go. I'm fine. It's not like the awkward, the three, but we're going the, the double digits here. And look at me raising my pinky, too. Like I'm drinking a cup of tea. Predictions in the comments. Okay. Brain hurts. What do you got against buttons? They didn't reset your game. You did. 601. Ha <laughs> ha Yeah, dude. 601, baby. All right. You know how many times that is? Too many. You think your thumbs got some sort of unlimited mashing powers? Cause they don't. Give them a rest. Enough is enough. I'm all out of get up and go juice. You can hit the road, pal. Scram already. Just show a little dignity and stop resetting. Oh yeah, one last thing. A really bad headache is called a migraine, not a mind grain. It's painful, but it ain't some fancy health food for your noggin. Believe me, I know. All right. Guinness, Guinness book, dude. Let's go. 601, baby. Oh my gosh. Six, okay. I think I think my skill ceiling for this one... Look at me. Mario Kart Tour. I think my skill ceiling for this one is definitely... Um, maybe 650. I could probably push 650. Animal Crossing Road to Ranked. Yo. So, the real hard part is knowing exactly when to start and when to stop. Right? Because every time I'm tapping and he goes like, tap, tap, tap. Like, you think... You think you're done. But maybe it keeps on counting until the number actually shows up on screen. Which would then give me monumentally more taps. Oh man, let's go. Animal Crossing eSports event. I know, we're here, man. You guys are front row stage. All right, 702 of you guys right here. Thanks so much for watching, by the way. We're in the Mr. Assetti Olympics, going for the world record. On camera, you have to show your hands or else it doesn't count. Of Animal Crossing. And it has to be in your hand. You can't just put it on a desk. I'm making the rules because this is my event. 650, yeah? All right, here we go. 650, man. Here we go. 650, can we do it? What happened to my lower left branding, though? Where did that go? <laughs> did you guys notice that that was gone the entire time? Where is it? Where did it go? It just up and left. I don't even know where I put it, to be honest. What what hard drive is it, is it even on? A stream overlay? Is that it? Hey, there we go. No, that's my old one. Mm, hold on, I got another one. <laughs> where did it go? Here we go. Sponsor stream overlay. There we go. Done. And that one goes here. Oh, weird. Why does it do that? Oh, because of this. I see. Current um, recent member lay overlay with member. Oh, because I'm there. I see what I did wrong. Okay, hold on a second. Adjusting. Adjusting. Hey, there we go. <laughs> well, what happened? Man, must have been Mr. Rossetti resetting that. Here we go. All right, Mr. Said, you ready? 650.
Yo, that that pinky raise, man. That's the real strat. I don't know. I, I, yeah, I'm not feeling this this time. I'm not feeling it. No, I don't think so. No, I'm not even going to break six. I just, no, I don't think so today. No, you got to... 700? Did we get 700 last time? Rossetti Olympics? I'm really turning it on now. I'm gonna keep going. What do you got against buttons? I can't, man. I'm out, dude. 601. Ugh. Yeah, I'm done. Rossetti? I think Rossetti's done. <laughs> 601 is all I got for today. I gotta I gotta rest up or else I'm gonna give myself a mind grain. Whoo man. Ugh. Okay, you guys wanna be part of the Rossetti Olympics? Let's go. You need a video of yourself doing it and showing the screen. That's it. Beat 601. And then once you beat 601, you'll be the uh, you'll be the world record holder. But as of right now, Guinness World, you guys can totally verify me. We just showed it right over there. Abdallah Smash. A B D A L L. Those are two L's, those are not ones. <laughs> Alright. So let's go find this reset center, yeah? Alright. We had a fun time today. What if you had a machine that kept pressing it for you? Hmm. See, now you're thinking outside the box. All right, go make a machine that's going to do that for you. Come back to me. Once you've built said machine. Like, what would even do that? I don't know. All right, here we go. We're going to continue. I'm going to attempt to find rain. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh man, right? Anyway, here we go. Uh, so what we're gonna do right now is we are going to ask for help. Because trust me, after that and what we've done with Mr. Assetti out here, we need a lot of help. Weird. All right, we're gonna go a little TT. Uh, uh, we're gonna put on our TT pants. We're gonna do this. And uh, it's going to be, let's just do noon. Maybe it's going to rain in the noon. Oh, actually, let's go afternoon. All right, so now I'm going to be looking for some rain weather. If I don't have rain weather, then I got to find it. I don't know how we're going to spawn rain. Yo, someone, Song of Storms, man. A, C down, C up. A, C down, C up. Like, type it in. You got the C buttons in the chat? I don't care if someone new moved in today. Uh, you think I'm the mayor, man. I'm looking for one thing and one thing only. Unless that visitor somehow makes it rain, I'm not about that life. I'm not about that mayoral duty life. I need this rain, though. So how do we make rain? How do we make rain? Is there a way that you can spawn rain in the game? Entering and exiting your house, is that? May and June is supposed to be the rainy season. Okay, that's a good idea, May and June. Thank you, that is a wonderful tip. I'm absolutely gonna go over there to May, maybe like May, April showers bring May flowers. So let's just go April. I think it's safe to say April. I don't know, unless someone actually has an Animal Crossing uh, calendar. So it's definitely not during that. May, June, July. Uh, I guess maybe May. We can try May. Some of you guys are opposed to April for some reason. All right, well, forget that little saying. April showers 
Bring May flowers. Not heard that? <laughs> Mr. Rossetti's got the saying right. That's what it is, Mr. Rossetti. All right, here we go. Isabel. How many of you guys know um, Isabel's name and the shape of her head? You guys know about that, right? Isabel's name is is a bell because her head is in the shape of a bell bag. Do you know that? Hands up in the comments if you did not know that. Hands up in the comments if you did not know that. Let's get some people here. Isabel. See? I knew some people didn't know it. But now you can't unsee it. Let's go. Here we go. Oh, dang, it's raining. It's raining. Hallelujah, it's raining moles. Amen. It's raining moles. Okay, so I need some clear, concise things of what we have to do now that it's flipping raining on our first try. Rossetti, I'm coming in. Knock, knock. All right, here we go. Here we go. Clear, concise in one comment, typically from the moderators because you guys seem to know what's up. Now... What do we do? We have the rain in hand. Time travel to tomorrow, 8 p.m.? Hmm, is that what you're telling me? Hmm, hmm. 100% can confirm? The next day, 8 p.m. We're gonna find this dumb place. I can't believe my life right now. Look at how easy it is to find this reset center. I spent like over an hour, over 30 days of time traveling. Oh, it's raining. Wait, no, it's raining today. I, st I can change it still. Sad monkey, get out of here. What's that over there next to your house? Who put that there? All right, here we go. The reset center. Hello there, mayor. It's me. Thanks. It is Friday. Yes, it is. Thank you. Uh, we're going to go on May 2nd. Yeah, your clock's all wrong. May 2nd. 8 p.m. 801. So, ladies and gents, we're going to find out is the Reset Surveillance Center a real thing? I didn't find it in Animal Crossing City Folk, but apparently we did some crazy voodoo magic and made it rain one day. And now we've gone to the day after that it rained. And then we made it 8 p.m. And we also have the Public Works Project, which is the Surveillance Center, that big manhole cover, the sewer lid. And now we're going to see if we can enter inside Mr. Assetti's deep domain. I don't honestly know. I'm I'm very curious. But uh, we're going to head on over there right now. Predictions in the comments. Is it real? Is it fake? Is it a myth? We're going to sneak our way over there. The suspense is killing me. Okay, what the heck? Oh, it's real? Yo, does that look real to you? 5-2, that's a day after it rains, 8 p.m. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What happened to the can confirm? What happened with that? I want it to be real so bad. I want it to be real so bad. The day after it rained, Mr. Rossetti's spot is not there. Wow. All right, all right. Check this out. I think you guys are trolling me at this point. 
like we spent the whole stream trolling Mr. Assetti, and now I'm gonna be the one trolled with this non-existent reset center. Just doesn't it doesn't exist? It's like the M and M's, right? They do exist. <laughs> All right, so much for that. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're going to set this a little bit later on. I need some help first. I need some help believing. It's rain and men. Ten o three p.m. Two hours ahead. The day after it rained. With the reset center built. Is that the recipe for success? To find this mythical land of a reset center that everyone seems to believe exists. Pfft. There goes that. But Abdallah, I saw a video on it. Yeah, sure you did. You're seeing this video right here. Here we go. Uh, holy moly, that thing's open. What the heck? Okay. Okay. That's just a coincidence. I don't know what you're talking about. So can confirm 100% that the manhole opens up. Day after it rains at at least 10 p.m. I'm not going to go say like 9 p.m. I'm just going to say at least 10, 10 p.m. 100% can confirm. What the heck is underneath here? Oh, I think we're going in, baby. Should we even go in? No, I'm too afraid. I'm too afraid to go in, man. It's not happening. I I think we're just going to stop it right there. No, it's... It, I, I must be seeing things, right? <laughs> no way. It's not here. I just jumped in. I'm going to break my ankles. How do you jump down? Whoa. Cool. Oh my, there's a bat, there's two stalls here. Mr. Assetti, I am so shocked. I just need to let one out, dude. Don't look over here. Oh, I can't rotate the camera. Well, luckily, like there's a, there's a retaining wall right over here. Interesting. So we also see that there is a, a temperature, like a gauge. Uh, there's also, I think that's like maybe a calendar, maybe punch cards. Uh, right over here, you got some... Oh, that's probably a punch card. Yeah, yeah. So where you punch in your time, right? And then over here, we have a broom and dustpan. You've got a jump rope and a weight. A single barbell. Just one. And you've got some maybe newspapers. you got some jump ropes. Someone's got like a little a pink um, towel over here. There's number one and number two. And what is he watching on TV? I'm just going to creepily, like, be right behind you, my guy. I'm just going to look around first. All right. And then here, these guys are like little piggies, for starters. And you got pizza. So Mr. Rossetti likes pizza. Mr. Rossetti finally notices me. Okay, thanks, buddy. I don't know what's on his billboard. I'm looking at his billboard over here. I don't see it. But you can see some pickaxes. You got some magazines. And then now, Mr. Rossetti, we come face to face with the man, the myth, the legend himself. I can see his shoes, by the way. You can see his little squat body. He's not a diglet. Okay, remember, diglet, you can only see from like the waist up and you have no idea what's underneath. He's definitely not a diglet. Hey, how'd you get in here? I don't care if you are the mayor. This place is off limits. No exceptions. Look, kid, this is a place where people do work. It's not some playpen for you to walk in and drool on everything. I was drooling on everything. You know what this job takes? I gotta stay alert. Be ready to go any time of the day or night, any day of the year. You know what I do on my birthday? This. I work. At the same time, I gotta keep my mind and body relaxed. It helps me be all cool cucumber for when things do go down, which they will. I spent 30 whole years perfecting that delicate balance. It's an art. He's been employed here for over 30 years. Sometimes part of that is chilling out watching TV, and you're getting in the way. Yo, cold shoulder, my guy. He's just watching TV over here. What is this? The same three screens over and over? That's boring. 
Don't hang around forever. Go on, get out of here. Really? Is that any way to treat your best friend in life? Don't hang around forever. Go on, get out of here. Really? Don't go fiddling about with anything, you hear? Keep your hands to yourself. What happens if we keep on talking to him? Don't go fiddling about. Okay, so here we go. Remember the Rossetti Olympics? Yo, I've been practicing. You're not going to find nothing, so quit snooping around. Maybe you will. Why would he say that? Don't go fiddling about. Okay, dude. Yo, Rossetti Olympics right here? Yo, I pressed it 601 times. And I'll press it 602 times more. I think that's all he has is leave, quit snooping, don't hang around. Oh, come on, Mr. Assetti. You're my best friend. Be my friend, guy. All right, well, I'm going to go snooping around. I'm going to press A on everything. I'm pressing A on every. I can go sit on his chair. No, I can't sit on his throne? Are you kidding me? Oh, my gosh. Look, look, look. Let me put this into perspective for you, in case you guys didn't see over here. So, Mr. Rossetti, I don't think that he burrows. Maybe he might burrow to your house once, right, with his pickaxe, and he might make it. But he installs a railroad system. And he sits in his chair when the reset alarm goes off, which is that red button over there. The doors open up behind him, and then this robotic chair... With a joystick, I might add. I think it has a joystick on the, the left side. No, it's got a, a pull crank. It's got a pull crank. So he pulls it back with his left hand. I'm sorry, with his left hand. He pulls it back, and then the chair maybe spins around and zips straight through. You have to picture this. It zips straight through to your house, and then boom, you're done. So he really just has to dig a hole once to where you live, and then he just installs the railways, and then boom, it's just all on a throttle. He just goes full speed ahead, boom. And then his chair takes him over there and then he just pops out. Dude, that's actually cool. You can see that, right? You can see like the doors, the, they open up to the sides. You've got the little tracks there. I bet you didn't even realize that. That's how Mr. Assetti works. Wow, it only took me how many years to figure that out? Seven? Seven years? Holy moly. And they got two stalls over here. That's great. Totally not running out of toilet paper. Ha. Huh, ha. Huh. Wow. Too soon? Too soon for that? All right. Fine. I'll take my exit. <clears throat> anyway, so that's the reset room. So again, 100% can confirm if you do want to replicate this on your own. You have to buy the Public Works Project, which is the manhole cover. I think you enable that by resetting the game once. And then, and only then... Um, you just make it rain one day, teleport to like May, June, something in the spring. And then the day after at 10 p.m., you just go inside and you hang out with him. And you make a best friend. That's really what it is. So what do you guys think? Cool? He likes pizza. He uh, likes reading magazines. He likes dramas. Maybe dramedies over here. Um, I wonder what happens when I leave and come back. So it's weird. It's like I walk forward, but there's no animation of climbing out. And that's it. You only get to see him once. Oh, man. What happens when you see him a second time? Is that how you get his picture outside of Amiibo? Oh, my gosh. Oh, the world will only find out. That's my challenge to you guys in the comments. Is going through and doing the reset center thing multiple times. And then find out. What are you going to get? Is this really how you befriend him? I don't know. I don't know. That's cool, though. Super cool. All right, anyway. That's really cool, man. Don can show up, some of you guys are supposedly saying. I don't know. I kind of want to just continue and find him, right? The best of the reset center. But you know what? I don't know. Ain't nobody got time for that. We got some other stuff to do, right? So what do you guys want to do? We want to go say hi to KK? We go say hi to KK Slider. We go listen to DJ KK. Uh, and then we can do what happens at the end of the world. You guys like those videos? Let me know in the comments. What do you guys want to see first? What would you guys like to do? Want to go say hi to KK? Mr. Slider, I'm here. 
And then the end of the world. It's got to be a Saturday night at, what, 8 p.m.? Or should I just make it 10 p.m.? Unless he's got a narrow window. I don't know his window. Here we go. Oh, it is Saturday at 10. I could have just gone. I'm going to I'm gonna wind it back a little bit. We're going to go to KK first. Let's go to 8. And then we're going to do the end of time. All right, here we go. Let's get that KK. You guys ready for New Horizons? How many more hours till tomorrow? 13 hours, 12 hours? Maybe like 13 and a half? All right, Brewster, I'm coming. I got my beans. What is Ika's skeleton doing on my floor over there? What the heck? Weird. It's like she came back to haunt me. Remember Ika? Wait! That's not where KK is. Yo, I'm so old school. He's actually in his Club 101, isn't he? Or is he in the museum? Oh my gosh, where is this guy? Is he in front of the train station? Club 101? Dude, KK's all over the place. I thought this is where Mr. Shrunk is. Dude, 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 dude. What the heck are you doing here? I'm not here to see you. Oh, good. <laughs> Take a seat, pal. Wait. I'm glad you came, Abdallah. You ready to groove to my tunes? Uh, yes, please. Cool. I'm taking record. I do. I've got an old favorite. I know a song. Sir Groovitude. Cool. I can dig that. My axe is hot to play, so cop a seat, Pete. <laughs> He's actually kind of cool. Enough tuning, let's groove. This next one's for you, Abdallah. It's called DJ KK, my favorite song. Enjoy.
All right, so what'd you think? Cool, huh? The evolution of DJ KK. Year after year, same song. Kind of cool. This guy, I didn't realize, yes, he's an axolotl and everything like that. I've just never seen him from behind and I've never seen his tail before. Or maybe I just never paid attention to it. I just don't like his, like, single unibrow. I don't appreciate that. I don't like his buck teeth and I don't like that little curl. He looks like a deformed baby. He looks like... Like when one of your friends... <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, he just looks a little weird to me. I don't know. His facial features are just a little... They're a little off-putting. Anyway, let me turn this down a little smidge. Alright, you guys ready for the end of the world? All right, so I'm going to go to the end of the world and let's see what's going on. And I will have beans at the end of the world. You better believe it. I wonder if beans are going to be available in uh, Animal Crossing New Horizons. Where someone comes into your town and you greet them at the train station with beans. That's it. All right, here we go. The end of time. And then we're going to end off the stream. Oh, that's a cool animal. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Ostriches are cool. Not as cool as the cats, but still cool. Welcome, Amiibo. Good evening, Mayor. It is the 2020. Actually, Isabel, see, it's not. I need some help first. Okay. Okay. Set my time. All righty, all righty, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we're gonna find out what happens at the end of time in Animal Crossing New Leaf. Now we've shown this to you guys three times prior. So you guys in GameCube, in City Folk, in Wild World, and now New Leaf, what happens? So predictions in the comments, let me know what you guys think. Uh, I'm very intrigued because this is the most, the latest release, technically, at the time of recording. Of course, New Horizons is there, yes. But, let's see what they did with the technological advancements, right? So, I want to find out what year uh, things get. So, I'm going to go over here to the 3DS top screen. And I want to see some predictions in the comments. Do you think the year goes up to 2035? Does it go to 2099? Does it just go to like 2050 maybe? Maybe the developers thought, hey, you know what? No one's going to play this game to 2050. Let's just cap it off there. What do you guys think? And I'll show you guys. Predictions, predictions. 2050, 2099, 2049? 3000? Maybe year 9999. And we're going to look back at this video in the year 9999 and say, wow, what a weird dude. Anyway, here we go. Okay, whoa, look, 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 look. 2050 is the latest date. And if you go up one from 2050, it goes back to 2012. And 2012 is the released year, uh, the release year of Animal Crossing on Nintendo 3DS, right over here. It says 2012, 2013 trademarks Nintendo. So yes, absolutely can confirm that that's the case. Now that's weird because the previous Animal Crossing games, you can go to a year where the game didn't even come out yet, which technically didn't make sense. But it took them three tries to get that right. Interesting. Very interesting. All right, here we go. So we're going to go to the last possible date. Right over here in 2050. And now you guys can take another prediction. What will happen in Animal Crossing, New Leaf, at the end of time, right? What will happen? 11.55, let's go. We'll go five minutes. Yeah. Okay. Hold on, let me, uh, let me show you this really quick. Okay, here we go. So that's 11.55, December 31st, 2050. Now remember. 
I don't know what's going to happen at 2050. Do you think it's going to go to 2051? Do you think it's going to roll back to 2012? Do you think my Nintendo 3DS is just going to explode? Is the cartridge going to fly out and hit me in the eye? Like, what's going to happen? Predictions in the comments. And if you already know the answer, then keep it to yourself. Here we go. Five minutes on the clock. Starting now. Isabel, I don't know. I don't think I've honestly celebrated New Year with you once. I don't know if I was an avid time traveler in the actual Let's Play episodes. I don't think I did. I just played every day from, like, what it was, didn't I? I don't know. The last day of the year. It's the New Year's Eve countdown at the Event Plaza. Come party with us. I don't know where the Event Plaza is. That's maybe by my fountain. Okay, oh gosh, wow. Look at that. Oh, great timing, Abdallah. I have a bunch of letters addressed to you, but I can't deliver them because your mailbox is full. Please clear out some of your mail. I'm counting on you. Uh, well, I've got beans. Attention, residents. The event... Okay, countdown. Remember, I got five minutes, so I can't reminisce too long. Or else I'm going to lose it. Oh, gosh. Um, what are these? This is from Nintendo. Uh, here is... Now you're playing Animal Crossing New Leaf Welcome Amiibo. Here is something uh, to help you explore the features. And then this is something from mom. You guys can't see it, but uh, yeah, who cares? She gave me some clothing. I don't care about that. And Agnes gave me a letter. Didn't want to read it, but that's okay. I don't I don't need letters. No, man. We need to go see the town and we need to say goodbye to everyone because this is the end of Majora's Mask, right? On the last, the last day, 99. Who's even in my town? Miranda, Midge, Moose, Bon Bon, Kurt, Joey. Joey? Yo, we had Joey in the GameCube one. Hans, Marshall, Phoebe. Some animal villager named Station. Weird. <laughs> Some animal villager named Recycler. Oh, that's something weird too. Well, who would name their kid Recycler? Another villager's name is Town Hall. Okay. Whoa. Hey. Oh, okay. Well, we're all here. This is the two-minute countdown. Hey, Red, what are you doing here? Red's here too? What do you got? Hey, it's the end of the world. Can I just have your money? Thanks for stopping by. What if Red just gives you all of his money back? Selling 300 bells a pop. Can I interest you in anything? Yeah. I'll take a party popper. Thanks, cousin. Well, I mean, I got beans, but... Thanks. Hey, come back real soon. I don't think I'm going to have the chance to come back real soon. Anyway, so we do have a party popper. Oh, this is going to be really cool, but one can only pop it when it's time. Okay, this is actually very lively. I like this a lot. All right, Isabel. What are we saying here? Hi. Oh, Mayor Abdallah, I was beginning to think you weren't going to show up for the event. Anyway, are you ready to ring in the new year? Let's go all out and celebrate together in style. That reminds me, I want to give you a little special something. You can ring in the new year with... Uh, you can't ring it out without sparkling cider, am I right? Uh, that's why. This is for you. Oh, cool. If you like, you can hold to it and sip the sparkling cider while we count down. What? I, I've never had sparkling cider in this game before. Where is it? Hmm, yes, yes, right here next to you. S sipping the sparkling cider. I wonder what kind of year the next year will be. I'm actually curious, too. We got one minute to figure it out, though. Okay, this town, everyone like it is family to you. Here you go, take a sip. Yo, to the new year. To the end of the world. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. I got to get my party popper out. Hurry, hurry, hurry. All right, everyone, countdown. Isabel. I'm going to miss you. Your heart is racing. Oh, my gosh. You? Uh, what's going to happen at the end of the year? 2050 is coming to an end. Yes, it is. Ah, uh, my heart is racing. Get out of the way, Pidge. Whatever your heck name is, get out of here. All right, what do we got here? I'm so afraid. <laughs> Isabel! Happy New Year. I hope this year is filled with fun and friendship for you all. 
What did that say in the back? It said 2012. Did you see that? What year is it, Isabel? D Am I blind? Did, did you guys see that? Oh, Mayor, Happy New Year. Let's make a great team again this year as well. Hey there, do you know who Abdallah is? That knucklehead completely forgot about our workouts. Hey, come on, it's a new year. You're not going to start out by calling me a knucklehead? Tell me what year it is. You guys saw 2012 in the fireworks, right? All right, I don't honestly care about Kurt. Okay, now I care about Kurt. Oh, right in my face, dude. I, you could have easily shot my eye out. That is the rudest thing I've... ever seen. New villager comes over to the town mayor, points the little popper thing directly at his face, pops it, and then tells him that he somehow went back in time 40 some odd years. Kurt, could you be any less Kurt? Wow, you better be ready for me to ask for more favors. Absolutely not. So there's the confirmation, ladies and gents, there is no 2051. We're taking 2012, that's right. Wow, look at that. So everyone says that it's 2012. Let's see what the message board has to say about it. That's pretty busted, huh? What do you guys think of that? Is that legit? Happy birthday, Miranda. I don't care about your birthday. Get out of here. <laughs> Interesting. So this is from 2020. Dang. So I didn't write something beforehand. Oh, and you'd think that there would be like an auto post, right? You think there'd be an auto post in the game that says, hey, here's the New Year's celebrations. Like, that's not a thing in this game? Wow. Happy 2012. Can you guys see this? Here's my letter. 1-1-2012. One, one, Happy 2012, I guess. Frowny face emote on a keyboard. Did you guys get it right in the comments? Did you guys predict that? It seems legit. I mean, there was only what? Was there only one Animal Crossing game that actually gave us like a secret year that was not even accounted for? Wow. Agnes's pick. Ew. All right, well, ladies and gents, that's that's it. Anticlimactic, maybe? I don't know. Anywho, that's the end of the year. So we're going to find out later on in Animal Crossing New Horizons what happens at the end of time. Ooh, wouldn't that be fun? I should, I should do that tomorrow. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Weird. 2012, huh? What a year when this game came out. It's a little unfortunate, huh? Weird. Mr. Rossetti, what a guy. I don't know what happened here. Anyway, Mr. Rossetti was cool. I enjoyed that. Finding out like all of his different texts and everything like that. It was a good time. It was a good time. So guys, I think that's going to be it. I think that's really going to be it. We'll see you guys at Animal Crossing New Horizons. Uh, I don't really have anything else to do, but I don't want to be here at this incessant beeping. I'm going to end the <laughs> the video inside my house so I don't have to listen to that. All right. So, hands up in the comments if you guys are here for Animal Crossing New Horizons. Hands up. Let's see it. I know some of you guys are, which is really good. So, here we go. I'm going to show you guys one more time. Come over to my main channel page. Actually, I want all of you guys in the comments right here. There's 500 of you watching right here. There's a link that I just put in the comments. Go click on that. Come and say hi.
You guys are uh, scrolling in right now. Dun, 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 dun. Everyone's strolling in. This is going to be good. We'll see you tomorrow morning. Uh, so go get some sleep. Go eat some dinner. Set your alarms, okay? I'm going to do it 8 a.m. Central Time, which is my time. Uh, we're going to be playing it. It's going to be real cool. And it'll be super fun. And I want you guys there. Uh, we're going to do like an hour-long episode, and then I'm going to work on some VOD stuff, and then maybe I'll do another live stream in the day. But uh, it'll be real, real fun. Come on board. Shout-outs to all of you guys that are here. Uh, we got Jay McLean, Whopping's here, Little Carrot's here, Griffin Dork, thank you. Uh, we got Joe, Benjamin, Michael, Jillian Waffles, uh, Lindsay. Uh, everyone's here. Now you have the link. You guys know where to find me tomorrow morning. I got, I'm going to wake up super early. And it's going to be crazy. All right, anyway, thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, Animal Crossing New Leaf. Uh, we had a fun time. We got some cool Mr. Assetti lines. It was great. We, we found the reset center. It exists. What do you know? No, I was just messing around with you guys the entire time. Of course I knew it existed. Duh. Oh, John, I saw a YouTube video on it. Of course you did. Whoa, my camera's about to die. I better end this quick. Thanks for watching. Make sure you guys are all on board with uh, hitting that subscribe button, uh, turning on notifications, and uh, being on board for all of the new Animal Crossing New Horizons content. It's going to be great. All right. Weird. Okay. I'm going to stop poking that. We'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Make sure you guys smash that like button and uh, consider becoming a member. We'll see you guys in Animal Crossing New Horizons.